Hi guys, it's Nancy. Welcome back. And I am using my Gina K Intracut machine and I am die cutting the new holiday ornaments, which I have already stamped out with some Gina K in the navy ink and I have heat embossed with some Gina K silver embossing powder and on the side I have um, embossed with the Gina K embossing folder tapestry with some red velvet um, Gina K cardstock. I have a card base ready to go. So we're going to put a card together here. I just need to die cut one more little piece and then we're gonna do some foiling. I wanted to move that over so you guys could see that. Let me pop out my little pieces here. Because I have one more piece we need to die cut here. Look how easily they all just come out. How easily they are. This bundle is still available. You can get it as a bundle with the stamps and the dies. Or you can get them as the stamps only if you have a scan and cut. I have one more little topper there I'm going to cut out. And I am using the magnetic platform which just makes everything easy. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. I have stubby nails and have a broken one. My nail guy has asked me to take a, a couple of weeks off. <laughs> it's killing me. Uh, so, okay. So again, we have used red velvet base card stock, Gina K classic tapestry embossing pa embossing folder and in the intricate when I do the embossing folder I move the intricut intricut to the 2d position here okay and then I move the bottom one to negative one before I run it through when I use that embossing folder okay um, when I do that okay versus die cut which is on the die cut position and that's all I do and I keep a little note just so you guys know I have a little piece of paper here where I write down all my little um, embossing folder cheat sheets okay I love this little machine comes in very handy you guys okay so I have that ready to go and then in case you don't know this is what we're using is the holiday ornament stamp and uh, die bundles and I have stamped out this one this one and this one and I used Gina K in the Navy ink and then I used the Gina K silver embossing powder fine detail embossing powder and I stamped um, this oh sorry sorry I only stamped out this one and this one in the middle of those two guys and I did this one all in silver and then I used this top these two toppers and stamped those out and embossed those in silver as well and then die cut those out okay so that is what I have done so far and then I want to do some fuse foiling so we're gonna do that next and for the foiling I'm going to use the holiday floral dies with the poly glaze. Okay, so we're going to use Let me 
grab my fuse machine. And then I'm going to grab some fuse sterling silver foil to match. And we're going to turn the fuse on to number three. Oh, it's unplugged. We need to plug it in. Plugging it in would help. and that will turn green when it's ready and it will beep And you want to make sure you thoroughly clean off your embossing powder because you do not want to have any embossing powder around your fuse and you do not want to use your embossing buddy bag or any anti-static powder bag anywhere near your foiling at all. Just gonna do happy holidays for right now. So that has beeped and turned green. Again, this matches the coordinating stamp set the holiday floral and all of the dies came out of the holiday floral bundle Foil first and then die cut second and you want to dusty dusty your image and dusty dusty the back of your foil which is the dull side and then put that in your carrier sheet and feed that through your fuse
And then what the foil will do is fuse to the polyglaze. And we're gonna give that a second to cool down before we reveal it. And as that's cooling down, we'll give that a second and then we will die cut that out with the coordinating die. That'll be our sentiment. In the meantime, I do have a top folding A2 size card, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. We're going to lay out our design is essentially how I want this here. And then I was just gonna put some thread There is a stamp if you wanted to stamp or use this as a design or use any of these as a design, you could. And there's beautiful sentiments on there as well. I just think I want to use the polyglaze. You do whatever your heart desires. Too sticky. Okay, then we're gonna glue the center one down here. And like I said, I was gonna tie some thread on there, but I think I'll just leave it. And I think on these little round baubles, some foam, some foam squares have them pop up. Just give them some dimension. Let's die cut that real quick. You can see how beautifully that foiled. People often ask me, what is the difference between um, the toner printing and the polyglaze? And it's a couple of things. Number one, the polyglaze allows for a much finer, more detailed print. Because it is a glaze, 
it's like a gel. So when it prints, you can get a more finer detail line. So Gina is able to give a more detailed, finer line print with that. Number two, you don't have the black underneath because it's not printed with a laser printer, which requires black, dark, dark print. You don't have that underneath. So if you struggle um, with the black coming through when you are doing your foiling, you might want to try the polyglaze because it's a gray print. Um, again, it gives a more detailed image. It sticks, the foil sticks to it a lot easier, again, because it's a gel. Um, I just put the dye away before I cut. You might want to try the polyglaze because it's gray. It's not black underneath. You don't have that. So a lot of people like that difference. And what I like is that, again, Gina makes it match her images. So you'll find she's more and more giving us the option of having stamps and polyglaze match her images. So a lot of people say, hey, how do I get stamps to foil? Well, with Gina K, she's giving more and more options to have these polyglaze match her stamps. So I wish more stamp companies would do that. So you don't just get the sentiments. A lot of times you get her images too. So I'm just going to die cut that out. So I could have stamped that and heat embossed it and it would have looked as nice. I mean, it would have looked, it would have matched the silver heat embossing, but the foil stands out on its own, as you can see there. We're gonna use a little bit of blue. And of course you can die cut and then foil. Doesn't really matter on this case because the, the die cutting is not interfering with the foiling. A second just to stick down but again the products that we used are the new holiday ornaments bundle which is the stamps and the dies we brought in an oldie but a goodie the tapestry embossing folder and then this was the Holiday floral polyglaze and dyes, which were part of um, last month's release. So these are available in the shop. I will link everything down below for you guys. Look how beautiful that came out. And again, I'll probably grab some, some twine and tie those. I'll just glue a little piece down below and bring it up to the top. But look how beautifully that came out. If you have any questions post them down below if you had fun watching me make this video please give me a thumbs up the um these items are all in the gina k shop i'm sure you'll also find some in your local gina k retailer scrapbook.com simon says stamp things like that but i will have the affiliate links down below again if you're going to shop my affiliate links please remember to click yes for cookies it does help me to get credit and if you enjoyed this video don't forget the thumbs up and i will catch you on the next one if you want to learn more about foiling please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you as a subscriber and join my facebook group it is called the foiling snobs club i do all things foiling whether it would be toner foiling like we did here or hot foiling i will help you along the way thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next one bye bye okay guys i did finish it off with some silver cord and a little silver ribbon there on the big one. All right, that finishes this card off. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. And again, if you have any questions, post them down below. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.